Hey guys, what's up? So here's another one of my eBay acquisitions and it's old. It's probably Edwardian to somewhere between the 1920s. So I'm going to I'm going to go with early 20th century. It could possibly be older. I don't know. I'm not an expert. So this is a coin silver, German coin silver purse and it doubles as a compact. And as you can see, it's really really tarnished and scratched up and in bad bad shape. Now I only got it for 10 bucks with free shipping. Even the chain is like rusted out. Um, this one has seen way better days. Let me open it up and show you the inside really fast. So even the inside is quite toasty. Um, you can see it's really, really tarnished. Um, this would have held face powder. This would have uh, held powder puffs. And the other side would have had a mirror. The mirror is long gone and broken. And so here we go. So what I'm going to do is get my Dremel. I could use silver polish to do, try to do this by hand. But it's really, really in bad, bad shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Dremel out, attach a chamois uh, or a felt tip, like polishing tip on it, apply some silver polish, and uh, get rolling on this. So stay tuned. Can this look better? I don't know. I sure hope it can. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so here's the tools. This is a Dremel. I have a Dremel attachment that um, actually makes it easier to work with. So this attaches to the Dremel. And uh, what I did was I attached one of these felt little polishing tips on it. I have quite a few of these. And I'm going to actually rub some Weeman Silver Polish onto the tip of the felt chamois and uh, get working. So let's see. Can this Dremel save the day? I don't know. <laughs> I sure hope so. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on. I actually saturated this pad. I threw some on top of the silver thing. I'm going to turn on the Dremel and let's see what happens. And it's splattering everywhere. And I have it on the lowest speed. And a lot of the tarnish is starting to come off. Alright, so I'm going to show you the finished um, product. <laughs> Hopefully this will become clean again. So half of it is done. All right, hang in there. Let me take you into a better area. Okay, so this part was done with the Dremel. And this part, nothing was done. Let's look at the other side. Dremel. Non-Dremel. All right, guys. This is actually coming out better than I thought. So after using the Weeman Silver Polish with the Dremel and the chamois tips, I'm going to attempt to actually use a silver polishing cloth. Um, it was made um, by a company called Sil uh, Sabrina Silver. I love these polishing cloths. I buy them, I'm not kidding you, by like the dozen on Amazon. They sell them. I'll put a link in the description below for all the products that I use today. But look how much shinier this cigarette box, um, not cigarette box, why am I calling it a cigarette box? <laughs> it's a dance purse compact. Um, yep. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to, uh, polish it with this cloth even more and, uh, let's check it out in a moment. All right, guys. So here it is. Look how shiny it is. Doesn't it look a lot better? Um, it's not perfect. It's antique. So anything antique is never going to be perfect. So you can see the shine on this and, uh, I think it came out pretty good. So now, um, this is German coin silver. German coin silver was made out of melted coins. So it's not the most beautiful silver that was ever made. Um, there were way better grades of silver. But um, so what I did was I used the Weeman silver polish on the Dremel with the chamois little tips here. We used the Sabrina silver polishing rag with the polish infused into the yellow part of the rag. And the blue part is the buffing part. And um, then, um, yeah, I sat there and I really polished the hell out of it. Um, is it perfect? No. Any antique is never going to be perfect. You're going to see some pitting. And uh, this I could not clean. It's made out of some kind of like nickel metal or brass metal. Um, very, very hard to uh, get the rust out of that. But uh, here's the other side. And look how shiny that is. That's uh, quite beautiful. Um, the inside of it did not come out as well as I wanted it to. But um, it was hard to get into all the nooks and crannies. But you can see it's very, very shiny as opposed to the way it was before. So in the description below, there's going to be links to all the products I use. 
including the Dremel. Um, the Dremel was actually the best, uh, the best product that I used for this. Then after the Dremel, I did use the silver polishing rag below. Um, the Dremel is very cheap. Um, if you have any brass or silver or nickel or chrome or any kind of metal that you want to polish up, um, it's great. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for the Dremel. Um, and for the accessories for the Dremel and for everything you see here. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys all soon. So long.